there! It's me, Ratchet Gamer, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. But something up doesn't appear to be right. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Is it maybe the weird trees that we have around here? Hmm, or maybe the fact that I have a giant wrench and giant ratchet ears. Hmm, maybe. That is because we are in Minecraft 1.7.10 current. Uh, this is the. Not the newest, not. That's actually a pretty old version. But today we are playing on this version just so that we can experience the Ratchet and Clank mod. As long, uh, along with some other mods around here. Uh, but. The Russian Clank mod is the most important because right now this is the first video in which I'm going to be presenting you the first ever update to well the actual first look at what I have done so far as of the Ratchet and Clank map, the one that I actually announced in the previous Rushing uh, Russian Clank video. I said that I am making a map and that I am. Um, Asking for, uh, you know, some mods that you could uh, help me with. Nobody answered. I don't know why. Uh, I really don't know why. But I did discover a few mods which I can use. And those are, of course, the Ratchet and Clank mod with all the weapons, uh, crates, the, van the vendor, the ship, and a lot of stuff, and a few gadgets. Then uh, the Carpenter's Blocks mod, which is super useful. The trees are made with that mod. Th those little branches co uh, coming out of the, uh, the ground are also made with the Carpenter's Blocks. A lot of this map is made with the Carpenter's Blocks mod. Like, a lot. And then uh, we also got the Star Miner, which... Has some pretty cool textures, and but the most important thing is the gravity core, which I'm going to be using for the magna boot platforms, the magna boots that we just got in the previous wrestling playing video, and of course a mod that you wouldn't be expecting me to use, but this is the rem uh, the removed mod or the removed features mod. And it adds the rows. That's not the the important thing. We might be using the rose and the peonia as flowers around the map. But that's not the most important thing. The, the important things are the smooth uh, blocks here. The smooth sandstone, the smooth stone, and the sm uh, smooth red sandstone. Interestingly... In this current, in this version of Minecraft 1.7.10, there is no actual red sandstone. There's only red sand, which is curious. I I thought there was red sandstone. Let me just search red. Nope. There's only the red sand that is official Minecraft and red sandstone slab like the smooth red sandstone. Uh, which is from the removed features mod. Oh, there's no other sandstone, interestingly. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, uh, we're getting off track. Now, before I start exploring this whatever I made, I want you to go into the comment section and if you know any mods that could help me, like features that I really have no idea how to do, well, then I, now that I think about it, I don't know many. But leave comments with mods that you think that could help. I'm going to be reading through all of them. And I'll be picking out the ones that I consider the most useful. Okay. Enough with the mod recommendations. Let's get into the map. So the first thing we've got here is the, gar the garage or the garage, de depending on whatever accent you want to use. We got Ratchet Garage, new model completely, no texture pack involved. This is new. I, on the last one I forgot to add some features like those antennas. 
Uh, yeah. But we have here a new design using official Minecraft textures, which I actually think that they look way better than the ones I chose last time. Uh, these are vertical slabs, which can be uh, obtained by using a carpenter's block and a carpenter's uh, hammer, like this. You put a block down and then you click on the side and it becomes a slab, vertical or non-vertical. That is useful. And then we've got uh, uh, all the crates rearranged to be actually accurate. There might be missing a f we might be missing a few, but that's because we don't have enough space around here. We got the workbench using some new fences from the carpenter's block mod that should be actually linked up, but neither should these. Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing, and we don't have the debug stick to fix it, unfortunately. Anyways, moving on. Uh, anything else? This, I still used these uh, mob spawners, but this is interesting. You might have, I'm not sure if you knew, but if you take some mob spawners in Minecraft Java Edition and place them down, they spawn automatically with these rotating pigs. Now you can give yourself a certain mob spawner that is going to be empty, like the giant. I tried to give myself the giant uh, mob spawner, but that actually ended up with a no mob inside. It was just the block, but with fire. And the way I obtained this one with no fire, no nothing, is also the carpenter's block mod. Let's let me show you. So this is regular and if you place a carpenter's block basically what this does it actually takes the texture but has no use and and it becomes a block that's basically how the carpenter's block mod works that's all that it does it takes uh, like you click with a certain block on it and it takes that texture and it's really useful like these vertical slabs also you can use a chisel like I did here and give it a certain new uh, look to the block. I used this to actually make this little separation. It didn't look too great, but eh, kind of works. Uh, you can see that I actually, with the, the chisel, I made these... Uh, <laughs> what are these supposed to be? I forgot the name. Um, oh yeah, soul sand bricks. All kinds of soul sand bricks all the way around. I made... What else did I make? I'm not sure if I used it too much around here. Uh, but that's the basic idea. Chiseling it down to uh, make uh, textures and using a hammer changes the shape and position of uh, and rotation of the certain block. Okay, enough of that. We're done here. I used um, some... You can obviously see that these are redstone blocks here to make up lights. Not the best idea, but... Uh, probably the closest to accuracy then these trees I mentioned them earlier I think they look amazing like I know there are some texture problems around here like you can see the log but that's just because it's impossible to get like even though you use the fully texture uh, the texture all the way around version like you can that you can get also you can get this weird one which is uh, or horizontal, but when you place it down, it only it functions like a regular block, and also it's called oak for some reason. This is oak. This is like a uh, data tag, not data tag. What was it? Um, data value fourteen, data value ten, and uh, I don't think I have the regular one here. Uh, the regular one is data tag two. Data value, sorry. Anyways, moving on, we've got these fences, which are not fences. I can climb them. These are actual ladders. Carpenter's ladders, retextured with the coal block. And I, or, originally, I used the mob spawners, as I did here. Like, the same texture, but then I thought uh, on using, like, fence gates or walls or something. 
but that didn't look too good because it also had lines going up, like vertically, not only horizontally. So then I discovered that the ladders can either be placed in this mod, you can place ladders on a block like this, or in midair, like it's in the middle of the block. I mean, you place it just on a block, it's in the middle, which gave me an idea to actually change uh, those uh, walls to fences. Now, of course, that actually helps the players go out of bounds here, but there's really nothing to do back here. Just like there is in the game, there, uh, just like in the game, there's absolutely nothing up here, like back here. However, in this map, you can actually just use that to actually climb up like this on here. But there's still nothing here. These command blocks here don't do absolutely nothing. I just set them so that I can remember day uh, like lighting values I'm actually gonna be placing a whole bunch of these around just to remember what uh, time you should set uh, what uh, ha what time I should set well time to actually get the right color of the of the sky for a certain map like Veldin looks the best with that uh, Veldin Imperial I actually found out that it's wait, where was it uh, it's this one here and you can change the time to a lot of choice there are a lot of choices but I am I, I think I made the right choice with this tell me if you know any better anyways moving on we've got here the little ship area that's where the start comes I'm actually going to I'm actually asking now I wanna ask people if you know how to animate in mine Minimator. I don't have Minimator since I'm on Mac. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, if you have Minimator and you know how to do this, I will. I need some help. I. W uh, I don't know. Like, if you want to help me, just try and make animations like Minecraft versions using the map and uh, a certain skin that I'm going to be sending you if you want to help. Um, like what was it? Uh, yeah, uh, like remakes of the official Ratchet and Clank original cutscenes, but in Minimator, my Minecraft version, also using the map. That would be cool. That would mean that I need to make Quart Two in advance, or no? That would be like in the end. Let me just show you. Uh, wait, I cannot show you right now. I wanted to show you my checklist uh, of things that I have completed or not. But basically all that is right at, at, at the point is only the only thing that is is Veldin uh, which is 33 about 33% as you can see like I split it in three like half is 33 half the other half is 33 that is really nothing that's my testing platform and the rest of 33% about 33% is the landscaping around like mountains and all that but yeah you hard work i have like until now i have only seen one single ratchet and clank map one single map, and that is sad because um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that there are many Ratchet and Clank fans out there that would like a map like this, and yeah, we've got the map here. I'm working on it. If you wanna help, if you're good at building, I accept any help. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a little. Uh, I think it's an igloo of some kind, but it's not actually made out of ice. It's just lighting. I, I'm not sure what these things are. They appear quite often on Veldin. Then we've got this thing which looks like an antenna. Still, I don't know what, what this is supposed to be. Uh, yeah, the landing area I told you. The, the reason why this crate is here is that it's actually in the game. Like, Ratchet does something like this, gets up on the crate and starts working on the ship. Like that, like, opens up this hatch in particular and use the, uses the wrench on it, that is something. Yeah, that's how, basically how the first cutscene works. 
Uh, then we've got a, f a bunch more crates. The, like, I, like I said, these branches are actually... I try to make them as accurate as possible. Actually, what I did to make all this is I uh, held my, uh, my uh, PlayStation 2 in the background running, b building, and then turning around, playing a bit, moving uh, Ratchet to a certain position so that I can uh, look at the landscape. Yeah, that's how I did, why this actually, even though it's not too much, it appears not to be not too much, uh, well, it took longer because it, I tried to get, as uh, I tried to make it as accurate as possible, like, the trees are supposed to be, like, spot on, like, the leaf positioning. I might be changing these leaves to some other type of leaf, like, with car using the carpenter's blocks so that they're actually thinner. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Moving on, we've got the first bridge here. I didn't really work on the underside, which I should probably do. Then we've got these things here, which are, I'm pretty sure they are, they are game accurate, like, everywhere. These are iron buttons, but again, using the quark, uh, use, not quark mod, they are in quark mod, but we're in 1.7, so that one doesn't. We use the carpenter's button and an iron block, that's super basic. Then a, a few more trees around here, a big rock right here, and using it, if, uh, you could try and parkour your way up into the tree, but that's really going to do nothing. The first bit of actual platforming in the game, you gotta do here. But in fact, in Ratchet and Clank, uh, when you return to Veldin, like at the end of the game, you will be you will be owning like the thruster pack or um, heli pack, yeah. And you won't actually need to make this, you just go here and sh hold shift. This is actually a cool thing. If you hold shift, like crouching, and then cl click spacebar, you'll be launched three and a half blocks with uh, the thruster pack. And two and a half blocks, no, no, three blocks entirely with the heli pack. You can see this is on edge. Like barely, t uh, barely getting on top. Uh, the source of the back is a bit higher. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, but you can uh, skip this. Also, I'm pretty sure that if you got the the thruster back, this is only in the map. I'm not sure if it's possible in game, but you can make this jump here, which you normally cannot do. I'm not sure if that is game accurate. That might have been a mistake. Anyways, moving on, we've got here a, few, a bunch more crates and the first nanotech crate, which I am actually using beacons. And uh, this map is going to be played in, uh, in adventure mode, and the player is going to have an omni wrench in spot nine. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm thinking about making a uh, resource pack that basically what it does, it, t it takes the hot bar and moves it to the side here makes like the circle but not all of it like only the first eight because that's how the uh, quick select circle in Ratchet & Clank works it has eight s slots and it makes sense to leave one out for the wrench I'm not sure if I can do that again I I, I, I need help who, who wants to help me is free to help me I'd really love to actually get some help for making this map because this is going to take a lot longer if I do it by myself. Uh, okay. Then I also need some help <laughs> for commands. I really am not that good at commands. Uh, I need to give my. Uh, I need someone to use the slash give command to use an omni wrench, like to get an omni wrench that can only break. Uh, the crates, the rest in, the three rash and clan crates, uh, which are right here, TNT crate, bolt crate, ammo crate, uh, beacons, and maybe a new block that is going to be retextured, maybe like the lapis block, 
basically the iron uh, the iron crates from Ratchet and Clank, and also to make them like when when broken this sh heals one heart. Like also said, uh, I need a lot of help. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be explaining this a lot better. So if you're good at commands, you're free to help. I'm going to leave my email in the description to contact me if you would like to help. And yeah, that's about what I've done so far. These should have been this. Yeah. There's a, so basically what's up next here, like here's a mountain, here's supposed to be a mountain. What's up next here is the tunnel skeleton thingy, a metal skeleton thingy, and on this side a short dead end with a lot of crates. Yeah, and then there's another bit of area, and then there's Clank's crash landing, like crash site. And that's basically it for this. Okay, now uh, for the mods. Uh, I did present you a bit of what we've got. Well, we've got here the Omni Wrench as the first uh, thing. You can throw it like this. You uh, crouch. Just crouch. Look. Crouch. And uh, left click or right click, depending on your controls. I did change my controls because. Okay. You can call me weird, but what I honestly think is that it makes more more sense to actually have the right click as the break button and left click as the place button. That is because my uh, gaming mouse, not only that I feel more comfortable with these controls, but also that my gaming mouse has a, a bit of a speed clicker. has a speed clicker. Uh, which does this. Let me just grab a block really quickly. Here's what it does. Uh, it does this. So I only pressed once. You can hear it. And it places three blocks. Why is the sound not working? Why, why is there no sound? Let me just... Uh, that is weird. I don't know why the sound doesn't work. Like the... Place break. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I've got the uh, this click, and it, I clicked only once, and it places three blocks. And the, why I think that makes more sense to be on the left click, like the place blocks on the left click, because if you were to use this in survival, oh, like as break, it would be completely useless. Like nobody would use it, and I, I think it's more comfortable to actually use it to place a lot more blocks around like faster it does help in uh, my in uh, build battle and all those building uh, mini games okay enough of that so we got the Omni Wrench uh, then we've got all the different weapons not all of them work like the Tesla Gold doesn't work uh, the Morphoray does not work these two don't work and that's basically it. The others work, but none of, not all of them have actual sounds. Like, I think the best one is the PX6 Devastator. <coughs> Ooh, this actually made a sound. So when you equip it, it makes the equipping sound and the shooting sound is also present. <coughs> Completely accurate. Then the next best one is the Vigibomb Gun. Look, <coughs> equip sound and... It's really cool. Best controlled in third person, like the second position, like like this. It continues to play. It's the best controlled this way. Like you can see a lot more. Here's me, I'm gonna... Yeah, it actually hits any entity. These are on... Apart from the suck cannon, which if you uh, just... This will take mobs and enemies, like suck them up. And when you shoot with them, this is the thing that I really don't recommend using in this map. Is the fact that this one actually blows up. I'm talking about, like, literally 
uh, blows up blocks for some reason. This is not really good for maps. Then we've got all these weapons, all cool. The Rhino does not have any sounds, neither does the Bomb Glove. No sound on any of these. The Rhino shoots nine missiles. The Bomb Glove throws a bomb down. Look. Why isn't it? See, it just, it just throw a bomb. None of them, like I said, apart from the suck cannon, none of these items from the mod actually are uh, terrain damaging. I think that's the term I should use. Also, these, although they look cool, they're completely useless and you can only have them in hand in creative mode because when you throw them down, here's what they look like. They actually stay like this as entities and you can only pick them up once you have used ammo in survival. Like you can, I can literally not pick it up. Not even if I use the blaster. <coughs> Has an equipping sound but no. Absolutely no shooting sound which is disappointing. Especially because you can barely see when you shoot. The bullets are so small. And not uh, Only if I go into sl uh, slash game well, mode survival see I can only pick it up once I have used it see I just picked up ammo otherwise it would be shooting for some reason when you click it with it in survival it actually makes this weird moving animation but when you go into creative it doesn't it just shoots don't know what that, why that is Anyways, like I said, the the bomb glove I showed you, the pyrostar just flames people. Literally throws this is a this texture here that appears around a gun is not really cool because it covers half of the screen. I think that needs to be uh, improved. The walloper you just hold down and uh, you can punch nearby enemies. For some reason, it doesn't shoot you forward, which is disappointing. That's not game accurate. Like it doesn't sh shoot you forward. Like it should shoot you forward the way you shoot. The busy bomb gun I showed you. The ah, the decoy glow. Let me just go to the testing area because I really don't want to place decoys here. Because these are really hard to spawn. They're entities that you throw down. They inflate. You can see them here. And they're not entities, they're not nothing. I don't know what these are. I believe they're entities, but what they do is they attract any type of mod. A uh, mob, sorry. So let's say you place a zombie pigman, is going to be attracted by it, although it doesn't. Uh, did that decoy just move? That's not right. I cannot punch the decoy, which is weird. Uh, it will attract any type of mob, including non-aggressive uh, mob. What is this? Big man. Oh, I think this is from the removed features mod that I actually did not uh, notice. It's a pig man, the NPC pig man. I did not know these existed. Oh, that's cool. Also, with the new village and pillage update, they should add, uh, Mojang should add these back in the Nether, like make Nether villages, uh, which are inhabited by the pigmen and there are raids by zombie pigmen. That would be an idea, I believe. I don't know. Or maybe from time to time, a village from the overworld, the overworld, is actually inhabited by pigmen. It would be cool to implement these guys back. Uh, the decoy just disappeared. Well, you get the idea how these work. Uh, okay. I think that's it for the decoy glove. Uh, these, like I said, don't work. The glove of doom should spawn some minions that go attack. Uh, should explode the enemy. Uh, the drone device, uh, will de spawns in a bunch of drones that orbit around you. And whenever an enemy comes... He doesn't get to attack you and he takes damage. Uh, the mind glove works. Still no sound. 
basically what it does is it deploys a mine and when you step on it it blows up or any entity uh, that one went through the world that one went through the world yeah you get the idea Morphoray would be cool to actually work this should be turning any entity into chickens that would be cool, and for players, what I believe it should do, it should turn the player, like, kill the player and uh, spawn in a chicken instead uh, in his place. The suck cannon, like I said, it works. Let me just go grab, uh, if we're doing chickens, if we just talk about chickens, we're doing chickens, where are the chickens? There. So, you can see, you can spawn in a bunch of chickens. And, uh, what? Okay. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, we're going to spawn in a bunch of chickens. As you can see, you've got them here. The ammo capacity of this gun is 8. So if you grab, uh, one of them disappeared. If you grab 8, it's maxed out. Oh, that's loud. You can shoot only eight, and like I said, they do explode terrain. Look. From time to time. When they're not going through the terrain. Because that also happens. Grab them. They do explode terrain, but I don't know why they're not doing it right now. I know that at least some mobs do. Like, for example, the big slime. Where's the big slime? Eh, big enough. Or just the regular slime. Chicken. Okay, uh, uh, really bad timing. It doesn't work. It doesn't explode the rain, but I know that it does. I have experienced it in a uh, flat world, and it ha that world now has a lot of holes in it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the Taunter, it's basically like the decoy glove, but it's in your hand instead of actually deploying decoy glove. It makes weird sounds. Uh, but let's just, again, spawning in neutral mob. If you use this, he will, uh, any mob will follow you. Like, any mob. These guys have no interest in me, they're NPCs. Oh! Oh, that's cool. These are... Uh, these do have... Uh... Trades. Like, nether... Nether-related trades. But if I hold shift, he, he could be able... To act... Trade with me. Weird sounds, but they are actually accurate. See? Follows me. Anywhere. That's basically the taunter get off no sounds for them apparently either uh then the last one which is the one that doesn't work but actually has a cool texture is the tesla claw see it has this weird electric texture which is not even game accurate like i said these uh, ammo you just deploy them down and pick them up whenever you need you just let them um, fall into the void. Okay. Then from the mod, we do have the other crates here. We've got the bolt crate, the ammo crate, and the TNT crate. When you break this one in survival, it gives you bolts. You can see my bolt counter here. If you break this, it deploys the ammo that we just looked at. And this one, when you break it, it starts to explode. When you step on it, it starts to explode. And I'm pretty sure that it also explodes if another one explodes next to him, next to it. Look. The same loud noise from Ratchet and Clank. Yep, I told you. Also, uh, the bolt, the ammo crate also deploys ammo uh, whenever it's broken uh, by TNT grates no matter what game mode you are in. So, break it, it explodes, step on it, it explodes, and even if it's blown up by another one. See? Uh, the TNT crate does not damage terrain, as you can see. And 
the ball crate and the ammo crate do have gravity. So let me just make a quick tower. See? Gravity. And both of them have gravity. How about the TNT crate can be actually set in a... Oh, I forgot about that. Goodbye, TNT. Okay. Enough of that. I uh, I could and that it would it would have been impossible. Next up, oh, I meant to throw that. We've got the Gadgetron vendor, the ship beacon, and the ship. Uh, the Gadgetron vendor. You just deploy it. Uh, when you click on it, you've got uh these things. Nothing is selected, but if you click, I recommend that you click the second one because it's going to be scrolling through them. If you click on this one going to move to the next. If we click on this one, it's going to set it first. So that's going to jump through a lot of ones you'll be missing out on. And this one actually just selects the, uh, the one that's already set. Again. So basically I recommend clicking the second one to actually scroll through all of them without jumping anything. So basically it shows you the price here in bolts. Uh, a little bit of display, display on, on the weapon. I believe that should have been uh, I, that's not completely accurate, like, here should have been just an image of the gun, selected maybe like this icon, or uh, maybe just an image of the gun, and the rotating model should have been in the middle. That's okay with me, still. Uh, then we've got, sh this should have been like the guy, uh, the vendor, the actual vendor should be here. And in this mod, from time to time, he actually talks, which is completely accurate. I love it. And also, the name is displayed up here, but uh, like the actual name. And also, this is not the actual official name of the gun. It's just the Devastator, not PX6 Devastator. Like the PX6 Devastator, I think it's just a development name, but it also is thought to be a secret weapon, like an unused weapon. Anyways, I've got all of them here. You can see the name over there. Also, what is not accurate is the fact that the Rhino is here. The price is completely accurate, I can tell you that. That's exactly how how much it costs in the game, but you cannot buy it from the vendor in any of the games. You should buy it from, like, in, in Ratchet & Clank 1, you actually buy it from the Rhino vendor. Which is just a shady looking guy with glasses that looks to sell you a really illegal weapon. Yeah, but that is in the game. Yeah. Great. Then, after the... okay. After the vendor, we've got the ship beacon and the ship, which you... Uh, the ship is super hard to place down. Uh, that's in the thing. So we got the way the ship. Why can I not? Oh, is it in the way of the model? Wait, let me uh, see the hitbox. There it is. So I should. Why am I? Oh, it's because I was trying to place down the ship. So we got here the beacon. So basically, what the beacon does, it actually sets a waypoint, and let's say let's call it waypoint. So it's waypoint here. You go into the ship, select destination waypoint. No, I did not select home waypoint. Go to destination. The ship will have a cool animation taking off. Then it's going to. Uh, I'm going to need to fly so that it plays. And then the ship comes down and lands exactly on the ship beacon and actually grabs this block, which you can actually middle click to grab, which is nah, I don't think it's supposed to happen. But you can grab it, it's a ship filler. So basically, it's actually just a, a barrier block, but since barrier blocks don't exist in this version of Minecraft, uh, they're, they're not working. Okay. Like they're working, and you can break one that actually breaks the ship, and the beacon. Okay. Next up, we've got a bunch of uh, items. We've got the vendor core, and the clank core. You use these to craft the vendor and uh, clank. To craft the vendor, you need, I believe, if the tech, if the the actual crafting recipe does not change, 
You need four blocks of iron flaw, four obsidian, and one vendor core. And to craft the vendor core, you just grab. And this is pretty, uh, pretty easy. Uh, where are the materials? You just grab a diamond and surround it with orange dye. In a crafting table, where is the crafting table? There we go. So you go into the crafting table, place the vendor core in the middle, and I, I'm pretty sure that the iron is actually in the corners. And you place the obsidian like that. Yeah, it crafts the vendor. That's the way it, it, you craft the vendor. I actually do have iron blocks. And the vendor core, uh, the clank core, sorry, is what you use uh, to make clank. Where's the clank? Where's clank? Clank. There he is. So you, I'm pretty sure, I really don't know right now, but I'm pretty sure that it's something like, this I need to see to craft clank. Let's see. I think you craft clank somewhat like this, if I'm not mistaken. Something like this. Maybe that's actually a uh, regular redstone, not actual torch. I'm trying my best, guys. I really don't know the recipes. Yeah, like this. This is how you craft clank. Uh, and then you use clank and uh, propellers, or helices, as they are called here. Three of these. I grabbed four. Three. One clank empty. And one iron bar. Place the iron bar in the middle clank in the bottom uh, bottom center and the helix is like this and you grab holy it's all that sound was from ratchet deadlocked not expected I did not know this was actual an actual thing like when you craft uh, apparently when you craft a heli pack it just plays that sound so and I showed you how it works it just it lets you glide like if you fall from a bigger distance than two blocks like a, a height bigger than two blocks you uh, glide you can long jump like this and you can high jump like this I don't think there is yet a crafting recipe uh, for the thruster pack though which is sad and then we've got here uh, the only music disc that is which is the the Metropolis song I made a remix of it link in the description got Ratchet's ears and this thing which I have no idea what it's supposed to be like it's not even the ship what places down the ship Places down the ship. Oh, it's it's easier to place the ship because the ship needs to be placed in such a weird way from a certain distance. This one just straight up places. Okay, I get it. It's a little bit useful for actual map making. Still, I have no idea how to obtain the actual ship. I don't think there's a crafting for a recipe for that either. Well, there should be. Do I have too many items? No, I don't have too many items mod here. Anyways, uh, we've, you've already seen the uh, the rush tiers. You just they're just headgear. I'm not sure how much armor they actually uh, give you, but you can enchant them. I know that. And then with the music disc, of course, with a uh, uh, where is it jukebox, it plays Metropolis. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. So yeah, it plays the song, the original song. Uh, that's all the items here. Where here, the weapons. We've taken a look at them. The gadgets. It's just a swing shot. Here, this has suddenly turned into a mod review that I don't regret. So basically, that's the orb that you shoot at. You just use your swing shot, click on it, and it. Pulls you and 
uh, it has a few glitches like this when it doesn't let you go and then you land not sure if you actually take the fall damage from this but eh. uh, that's the swing shot I have no idea how to obtain this the, the PDA the gadget from PDA is interesting we have it's held in an, in an interesting way. It's not actually uh, standing flat, like vertically. That's interesting. You click it. It's a it's an actual uh, portable vendor. Still, I'm using the second uh, uh, slot just to actually see exactly what I'm looking at. Okay. Ooh. If you click exit, it actually makes the, the actual sound. Like. Ah. Uh, oh, there we go. Makes the actual sound like if you use escape, it doesn't make any sound. I think that's also the case for the PDA. Doesn't make any sound when you when you enter the menu, but it makes the sound when you exit. All right, that's it. The thruster pack, like I said, it basically is the same thing as the uh, heli pack. Only the high jump is a bit higher, but the long jump is the same, and the gliding is the same. Yeah, it just looks cooler and is uncraftable. Okay, and I think that's the entire Ratchet Link mod done. Then the removed features, we're gonna go th uh, quickly through them. We got the two removed flowers. Missing the cyan flower, which is disappointing. We've got the rose and the peonia. Got the ruby ore and the ruby. Got the quartz slab. Uh, and all these slabs, like smooth variants. Got the quiver, which I don't think it works. Got, and we've got the horse saddle, which also works, but I think it only works on horses, or it just works like a regular sad. Hello? Sad, sad, I said sad. Saddle. We're going to spawn in a horse. I know that it works on horses. Why am I saying it? So it works, but you, I don't think you can... Oh, you can. Write him off. No! No, actually, this is, this is an interesting, interesting thing. Like, when you fall into the void, it starts uh, to get a lot more red. Interesting feature. I don't know what, from what mod that is. But, oh, I removed the horse saddle instead of the horse. Yeah. I wanted to check if it actually works on pigs. It doesn't. Okay, get off. So, uh, wait, does that mean that now the regular saddle, you, when you have this mod, the regular saddle only works for the horse, maybe? Or like, the regular, uh, sorry, the regular saddle only works for pigs? Where is the saddle, though? I have no idea where the saddle is. Oh, transport, yeah. Of course. I'm pretty sure that you can still use, uh, what? That's interesting. Oh, don't run off. He doesn't love me. He just dropped us both. What a jerk. Okay, but the the regular saddle still works. Uh, the same way. Oh, you cannot hit. Shift. Oh my God, these guys are annoying. Let me just go quickly up here. Get off. Okay. There we go, and that is it for this. Oh wait, where is it? This mod. Now a whole bunch. These actually work to be placed. Then we got this, which I told you. All of these can be painted with any texture. 
absolutely all of these apart from the tile for some reason and these are the tools you use to actually give them custom textures I did actually make a whole bunch of custom uh, blocks with these and then we have got star miner these are gravitational all of these which have this little star it means that they are gravitational like they can be placed uh, on the sides of blocks basically what this gravity core does I'll just turn this into an actual cube really quickly oh uh, wait that is no cube I messed up wait uh, anyways you just place this down somewhere give it a uh, gravitational radius of 4 and then on the oh my god so basically what it did it allowed me to walk on this side of the platform that's all that this gravity core does and it's a bit clunky sometimes like this not really cool it is kinda clunky from time to time uh, but yeah that's basically it you walk on the side and the other G plus items that's what they're called in the inventory the G plus items means that like you can see like after the name it says plus G which means that it's gravitational I don't know what the navigator does I have no idea what any of these do but the uh, gravity wall it's just meant to be placed on a floor wall or ceiling to actually walk on it the man bazooka is just a player launcher uh, the other the inner star core and the outer star core are what you use to place around the gravity core to actually make your own uh, planet that's cool don't know what the fake rotator does I'm pretty sure that if you have no blocks in your hand, it places stone, or it doesn't work at all. Uh, I showed you the gravity guard. Star dirt is just uh, basically a fully textured dirt, like a grass block that's completely textured all the way around, which is interesting. That should have been like in a removed mod or something. And I have no idea what these things are. These are to be planted gravitationally as, as well as the seeds. And let's add the star bed and the carrot. Oh yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, gravity controller doesn't really work. I don't know why. Uh, okay. I think that's all. Also... I'm probably you are probably wondering why I'm not using the gravity wall and I'm using the gravity core to make the uh, what are they called uh, uh, magnet boot platforms that is because this doesn't work the same way as the gravity core like yes you can do that like place them on walls but one it has an awful texture Look at this. You cannot even see it in my hand right now. Look at this. As this semi transparent like translucent, semi transparent, uh, weird texture that doesn't really look cool and it ruins the effect. And also, not only that it works like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that was a glitch. But also, you need to place them all the way around where you have to place them. At. While as for the gravity core, you just place one down and has uh, a radius, a gravitational radius, which is useful. You can actually make uh, the platform any direction. The only thing that is that is going to be weird is that from here to like here and there, you're going to see these just either floating in midair like, and they're actually going to be floating in midair because they're gonna be deployed like basically what I'm thinking uh, I'm going to do is once you grab the magna boots on Orkson, that's clank 
I need a mod to shrink the player. Uh, you can just plop down a uh, gravity core and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you get, uh, once you get uh, the magnet boots, which are just going to be a rena uh, pair of renamed regular iron boots, sadly. And yeah, once you g uh, equip them, uh, a command block is going to be triggered, and a bunch of these gravity cores with a custom uh, radius, with each with their own custom radius will be deployed all the way around uh, all the way everywhere where there are these magnet boot platforms that's basically what I'm thinking it's simple quite simple what is this soup of intelligence I think this is a food item solar wind fan I don't know what these things are ah G rappel gun I don't think it works in creative though. Oh, I think you need the G arrow. Holy no, my god. It's a grappling gun. That's kind of cool, but uh, like you could use this instead of the swing shot, like. Or wait. Wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Using the grapple gun, can you actually make the Versa orbs yellow, which do, do not exist in the mod? Because the, I could find a use for this, like have this be the a green swing shot and this the yellow swing shot, and you have to switch between them really quickly. It would be annoying. How do I get rid of you? How do I get rid of you? How do I get rid of you? Oh, I pick him up. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, where is the star miner things? I'm now just... <laughs> I have not experimented with these mods enough so that I know everything about them. Fun fact, uh, the more Versa orbs you have on screen, the faster they will ro the texture will rotate. Ah, uh, what was that? Okay, again, I'm thinking about a swing. So, I need to find a way to actually make a swing shot. Like, not only a grappling thing. Like, this just attracts me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was interesting. We could be using that instead of uh, the actual swing shot for the swings. Although, the mod maker of... The, the guy who made the Ratchet and Clank mods announced that he's making a 1.12 update. Which, which not only is a version update, so that it works on better versions. But it's also... An actual update, adding more things, like maybe more orbs, more gadgets, hopefully. The Hydro Pack would be kind of cool. Uh, functionalities for more guns, hopefully, and the Iron Crate, which is missing. Missing the Iron Bolt Crate. Yeah. Also, I have no idea how to get this thing, like this image. I think you can get it with the Too Many Items mod that I have not downloaded for 1.7 yet. Uh, there's a block here. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I showed you everything that I made so far, and I made reviews for all the mods that I have installed right now. Thank you guys for watching. If you want, uh, and I'm, uh, we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see way more uh, updates to this map on the channel later. Like whenever I think it's time to make a video with what I have built, 
you're gonna see it on the channel is going to be here and that's it for me today I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little beginning tour of what I've done so far and hope to see you with hope to actually make more updates so that you can I can show them to you and I'll see you in the next episode uh, in the next video I hope you all enjoyed if you if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like as it supports the channel uh, and if you want to see more of this content, uh, click the subscribe button. And um, yeah, if you want to actually be notified when I upload a new video, there is a bell for that. Okay, that's it for me today. I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!